Morning gang, so it's 8.30 in the morning and Chloe and I are gonna give you a day in the life. My beautiful wife's in the kitchen, giving it the, the, the classic Sim Proof shake. And this is part of our routine every single day. So this is a day in the life of James and I and we are as well working with Sim Proof, but I don't want that to look like we're being, what's the word? Uh, in self-indulgent product placement. Yeah, it's not like that. So James and I have been taking Simprove every morning for maybe what, a year and a half? Yeah. About a year and a half. Um, and it was recommended to us by an amazing nutritionist called Matt Lovell, who is my hero and uh, has been one of James's nutritionists for a long time. Um, so I started taking it and I saw a difference in about two weeks um, and I really like it um, but there is a protocol with how you take it so we're going to show you a day in our life typically and it all starts with taking this. Yeah so one of the things we get asked about the whole time is our uh, eating protocols, our supplementation, uh, our different approaches to health, how we actually do things. Chloe and I are on very different um, goals. So uh, mine is Meathead Fitness, Chloe's is um, Aesthetic and Health, uh, and obviously- Meathead and Fitness do not go hand in hand. But, well, I'm sort of a hybrid, hybrid ex exactly. Um, and one of the things with probiotics is, uh, it's been a really important part of my routine. Um, I, I take, took them a lot tablet-based for a long period of time. During my really intense training for my first kind of MMA fight, I went to Matt Lovell, got all my bloods done. I showed a lot of um, areas of improvement, uh, and gut health is the foundation of everything um, you know that we that we do. What we do every morning is we take this 10 minutes before we eat, have our first coffee, um, fasted. Uh, that's what's recommended. I actually do uh, a double up because of my because of my size. But Chloe, she's a, a teeny weeny, itsy bitsy person. Okay, Let's just do one. Cheers. So now we've actually got double up. What am I talking about? I gave it the bigger and I didn't do it. Um, yeah. So then you've got, a, a good idea is to just give it 10 minutes. Um, and while we wait for 10 minutes, James will probably um, look at things on his phone, like people beating people up in a, in a ring or, I don't know, diggers, something thrilling like that. And I will cook him breakfast because he is a very, very lovely husband. And I'll also focus on making a coffee as well while doing this stupid activity. Do you want a coffee? every morning. As we're in the throes of domestic bliss, actually I'll be honest with you, breakfast is my favourite time of the day, uh, it's the favourite time I have with Chloe, um, it's kind of, it's all, it's all about breaking the fast, but I you know, I absolutely love it. I think it sets you up for the day. So many people skip it, um, don't take time and attention. Yes, I understand people are rushing out the door, but for me, uh, I, would always, I would rather get up earlier and uh, make sure I get the best possible nutrition um, into my diet and into my body to fuel whatever I'm doing. Uh, you know, so many people uh, make the poor choices. Obviously, I have a, um, a pretty high, high carb diet. Um, so I can actually start the day with, with some cereal um, because uh, you know I, I, I'm able to have that, that, that quick release um, sugars and able to kind of hit the ground running. But I also build everything I do around um, kind of protein. So every every meal for me, especially breakfast, is a three course meal. Claire, on the other hand, has some slightly different goals, but she'll talk you through what she's going to have in a minute. What have we got there? You know exactly what I've got here. I'll tell everyone at home what we've got there and why you're having it. So in the mornings. I have this thing like James has breakfast as like a three course meal. So he'll start with cereal, that's his first course. And then he'll move on to like eggs and toast and bacon and all that good stuff. And then he'll have a dessert which will be like something probably like less healthy, like a pop tart, like a breakfast treat, which is totally fine because A, he tracks his food intake every day so he knows if he is or isn't hitting his nutritional goals. And B, he has about three, four thousand calories. Three if he's in kind of a dieting phase, four if he's not. Um, so he's completely fine. I obviously, if I'm in a dieting phase, I'm on about 1500. Um, so if I were to do what he did at breakfast, I'd max out by lunch. Uh, so what I do is I have a sweet tooth in the morning. So the first thing I'll do is I'll make like a protein cake. 
Um, it's just protein powder, uh, like a little thickening agent, like a xanthan gum or something. Um, mixed with some water or coconut milk, really any liquid, in the microwave for two minutes. And you get like a little, it's like a little sponge cake, but it's all protein, obviously, so it hits my goals. And then I have the PB Fit peanut butter, because again, it just keeps my calories slightly lower than real peanut butter. Not slightly, actually, probably about 100 or so. And that is like a 200 calorie bowl, whereas his is about a 500 calorie bowl. And that, my friends, is how you eat the same as your husband, well, eat the same meals with your husband, but keep your uh, calorie intake lower. And I promise you, it tastes really, really good. What? What's, that, what's happened here now? <laughs> I'm not sure you're going to win any awards for cooking. No, it'll taste really good, it just looks a bit shit. <laughs> you're normally a perfectionist in the kitchen. Yeah, I know, and today we're filming it. And I oh, just, what like, is that? Look, just eat it, because I guarantee you'll like it. Yeah, the yum's Chris. It's uh, two whole eggs, two rest of bacon, and a piece of toast, but I did it... <laughs> put the eggs in the same pan as the bacon, but I did it wrong. Oh, it's okay. It's nice you even made the food. And voila, the second course arrives. It's quite a magic, a magic table here. If I sit down long enough, little long fairy comes and delivers food. Normally, it looks like something Gordon Ramsay would be proud of. This looks like some sort of modern art installation that Tracy Emin would have used called the badly made breakfast. Mm, very lovely. Um, All that so everything I do nutrition wise is, well, the majority learn from Chloe, I'm working with other people, but also I always look at my plate and work out what's really important to me. So protein is a massive factor in everything I do. It's the cornerstone of what what I what I have. Uh, and, and most meals there'll be a big portion of protein. So we've got the eggs and we've got the bacon here. And then I will look at it and go, um, you know, fibre obviously is, is is important to your diet to, to your digestion. And then I think the next thing is my next energy sources, or my you know, my third energy source is my carbohydrates. And so that's what I have with the bread. I obviously have with the cereal. Um, you know, some you've got slow release, some you've got fast release. Obviously, in the in the cereal, this is you know, this is white bread, um, so it's obviously slightly faster than, than brown bread, um, and uh, less fibre. Obviously, in the white, but I have quite a high fibre diet, so it's okay. Uh, and that's what I would have. And then I'm going to go and train in about 30 minutes after that. Chloe's making herself an egg white omelette. What's the best thing that looks tidier than mine? So I made an egg white omelette because simply because eggs. Whole eggs are a great source of fat and protein, but obviously it's kind of more than half the calories if you get egg whites. And again, when I'm on a lower calorie diet and protein is really important, it's the only thing really, it's the only macro in my diet that stays stable pretty much year round. Um, it just helps, <laughs> every little helps. Um, and then I've put a little bit of cheese in it and I've also put some salsa on top of it. So, what do you have? I would have put, yeah. I would have put more veg in there, but we don't actually have any fresh veg right now because we just got back from abroad. What happened to the vegetable garden? Huh? <laughs> we don't have a vegetable garden. I thought you were going to play on with that. We should. I'm not. More fun. I'm not. What is it? Green fingered. Have you not been? So, um, one thing we haven't touched upon actually before we just eat our food, so we don't need to watch it. Is hydration. Uh, every day, I, I weigh up. I weigh two kg. That's my water in there. Oh, it's fine. I'll let you finish it. I don't want your horrible beard germs. Beard germs? What's yeah. a beard germ? I just don't think you wash your beard. It you see me shampoo my beard all the time. It always smells like cheese. <laughs> well, all right, okay. Well, I haven't been so insulted in my life. Um, Hydration is massive. I wake, up, I wake up two kgs down every day uh, through dehydration, so I'll, eat, I'll drink two uh, litres of water before I've even started. Uh, if I don't, my cardiovascular uh, ability is down, it can be diminished by up to 15%, um, and you know, you just really need to look after yourself. Obviously, your body heavily relies on water. I put a little bit of salt or hydration fluid in there. Chloe smashes the water all day. How much do you drink throughout the day? I drink about five litres a day, but I work my way up to that gradually over time. Like I have clients who will hear me say that and I'll be like, oh, I can't stop going to the loo. I don't know how you manage five, five litres of water a day. And I'm like, I worked my way up to it gradually. You want to be careful not to overdo it with water, but obviously yeah, it's really important to stay hydrated. Well, we'll catch you all for training session next.
so I'm having to set up Carbo's quarantine for Chloe and I. Everybody has to become a technological whiz in lockdown. So obviously we've trained, um, eaten, got our morning stuff sorted, um, and I'm now enjoying a snack of M&Ms because my calories are different than Chloe's. We're going to get couples quarantine filmed, um, and then I've got some more work to do, and then I'm going to uh, record the Good, the Bad and the Rugby, which podcast later. We'll have lunch, we'll have lunch before that, and then Chloe will uh, cook dinner. I don't know why I'm heavy breathing, maybe I should lay off the M&Ms. Hi everyone, and welcome along to Couples Quarantine with Chloe Maidley and James Haskell. Uh, I'm very peppy to this morning. <laughs> James, um, it was our very good friend. Oh, this we should make a topic. Yeah. It was our very good friend uh, Trusy who listens to the show. No, give him his full name. <laughs> Gary Gary Truman. <laughs> Gary Gary Truman. Baby Gary Truman. Yeah. So most days I end up sort of having a bit of work in lunch. Chloe has a work in lunch. Um, I'm actually revising for. <laughs> sorry, I said like I'm having a work in lunch. I'm actually revising for. Um, uh, celebrity Mastermind. My subject is Harry Potter the movies, but I'm also just putting all the footage together from Couples Quarantine and sending that over um, to our producer to edit it all together. So it's a bit of a working lunch. Again, you see what I have for breakfast today. Um, I obviously smashed out the, the cars. We have some eggs, we have some bits and pieces, we've trained, we've recorded Couples Quarantine. Um, and then for lunch, I'm going to see what Chloe's put together, but as she is a nutritional guru, um, we will see, but it should be something quite small because I'm actually not that hungry and I didn't go mad today in the gym, just slightly mad. And just like that, food appears. Um, got a lovely salad, I'll actually, I'll actually show you so you get full appreciation. Lovely homemade salad, croutons, carrots, homemade vinaigrette, and then we've got some prosciutto. There's the chef. <laughs> Just checking on what's going on. Always creeping around corners. Um, to prosciutto and capoletti, it says, with a bit of um, healthy protein cheese on top. Um, and I've got a pile of work to do, which is always fun. Um, and yeah, Chloe's will be working at the room. We'll go and find out what she's eating for lunch in a second. But now it's time to eat and revise Harry Potter. <laughs> just finished the podcast good the bad and the rugby with our guest and we've got our meals here now obviously i've got traditional uh, spaghetti bolognese lots of um pasta obviously carbs wise because of the training and my general uh, calorific intake and chloe has replaced her um spaghetti with courgette because uh, obviously her uh, nutritional requirements are less than mine her calorie intake is less and obviously there's a great hit of fiber with the courgette, but she's used the bolognese, and we've gone for um, a little bit of parmesan, which is a good fats. Of course, we've got some wine. Uh, both of us, um, when we had our bloods done, showed that we could do with um, a little bit of what was it? <laughs> manganese. A bit more manganese. So, guys, that was a diary in the day of our life in terms of nutrition and in terms of food. Babe, you've been amazing. Remember to take your improve in the morning and we'll catch you all again. If you like, subscribe, share. And if you fancy more of us, less regulated, less about food and nutrition, then check out Couples Quarantine. It's available on YouTube and as a podcast. We'll be seeing you. <laughs>